Can you just give us a base layer understanding of the main differences between, say, Bitcoin and Ethereum? Yeah, yeah. They're pretty similar is probably the first thing I'd like to say. They're both peer-to-peer -peer payment networks that are built on top of blockchain technology. In fact, you could probably call Ethereum something of a follow-up to Bitcoin. So Bitcoin as a network allows users to make kind of simple peer-to-peer -peer transactions. Person A wants to send money to person B and Bitcoin enables person A to do that in a secure way. Ethereum adds a layer of complexity to transactions. So you can add conditions to transactions. So for example, person A can send money to person B on the condition that person B pays back person A with interest a year later. The reason Ethereum is able to do this is because it includes something called smart contracts into its technology. And smart contracts, kind of like the word sort of suggests, are contracts, but contracts that are code-based. So you can add programmable transactions and contracts that are automated using Ethereum, which is something you can't do with Bitcoin.